Down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want me. Guys, I want. I want to let you guys know when you're. <laughs> when you guys sing that prayer. When you guys are saying, I want more of you, God, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> he's celebrating. He wants to have a relationship with you. Have you guys ever hugged somebody and you give them a quick little hug, but then they squeeze you back a little bit more and you have one of those really, really tight hugs? That's what Jesus is wanting to do with you guys right now. And that's what you're doing when you sing, I want more of you, God. Is you're giving Jesus a big hug and you're saying, God, I want more of you and I love you. And that is a beautiful, beautiful sound unto his ears. So Jesus, I pray you're with us through the rest of this service. Let your spirit fill your children. Guide me through this message. Allow our hearts and ears to be open to what you have for us. Let's have an awesome rest of the night tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. If you guys could quietly, you can grab a seat right in here. Stay behind the red line, please. But you can grab a seat right here up front. Hey guys, I need everybody to be real nice and quiet. I have an awesome, awesome story I want to share from the Bible tonight. But I need everybody to be nice and quiet, okay? So as you can tell, where Luigi was standing, we have a, a new visitor with us tonight. And uh, there's a story in the Bible Remember I've said the Bible is like a history book of, of true stories. Now this is going to sound really crazy, but there was a guy in the Bible. He was from a place called Gath. They called him the champion of Gath, and his name was Goliath. And some of you may know this story. If you do, just be nice and quiet because there's some people here that might not have heard it. But the Bible had a weird way of measuring things back in the day. They had measurements like cubits and arm lengths, and they didn't have feet and inches like we do. But we try to figure out the math, and they said Goliath, he was a giant. And they said he was about nine foot, nine inches tall. So I drew that out today. Um, Michaela did a lovely job uh, coloring this, but I drew this guy today. And as you can tell, this is right here, nine foot and nine inches. And I don't know if you could see, but his feet aren't actually, he's starting to curve a little bit. Do you see that? That's a big, big giant. And tonight is level three and it's game on. Now, many of you have inserted this token and you've pressed start and you're ready to start this journey with God and you want to listen to him and you want to follow him. But I will tell you this. This is where you get to learn when you choose to game on. This is where you learn what God is all about and God learns what you're all about. Because guess what? When you play a game, and many of you play video games, they're not always easy. And then you're going to face things in life, guess what guys, that are not always easy. 
And, and if you could pull up that first slide uh, for me, Ty, there's a scripture in 1 Samuel 74 that talks about Goliath. And it says this, a champion named Goliath, who was from Gath, came out from the Philistine camp. His height was six cubits and a span. Remember, I said that's a really weird way of measuring, but it comes out to about this tall. That is a tall man. And he wants to fight the Israelites. He wants to fight God's people. And he's saying all sorts of bad things about his people. He's saying bad things about God. And I don't know about you, but this guy does not look friendly. He doesn't look friendly. And in essence, he is being a big bully. And if you choose to press start and now it's game on time, you guys are going to face some bullies. You're going to face some fears. You're going to face some doubts. Fear is just the way of the devil trying to bully you. Is there anything that some of you guys worry about? Real quietly, if you could, if you could raise your hand and tell me something that you're scared of. Now listen, I want everybody to be very, very respectful because there's some things that some of us are scared of that other people aren't. And that's okay. God created us all differently. He created us all beautifully. So what's something that you doubt or worry about or a bully will? Your family. Okay, that's okay. You worry about your family. So you have a fear for your family. Okay. I'm put this with this bully here, okay? What's something else? Anybody else scared of something? What's something you're scared of? Heights. What's something else? I'm only going to take a few more. What's something you're scared of? Shh. Spiders. Yeah. Spiders. Spiders. Let's just get a, a, a couple more. Chloe. Your mom getting hurt. You're worried about your family. Put your hands down. We could go. I could go around the room all day. But here's a few examples um, that Miss Cat's going to write real quick. Is anybody scared to fail? Like you're scared to get bad grades in school. You don't want to get bad grades. What about sickness? Is anybody scared to get sick? Like if I get sick, I'm not going to get better. There's all sorts of things. Is anybody scared of storms? Storms. Yeah. Yeah. Storms are a big thing here in Florida. Is anybody scared? Shh. Stay quiet. Anybody scared of bullies at school? Bullies are a big thing. Yeah. Shh. What about peer pressure? Anybody don't like peer pressure? When your friends try to get you to do something that you know you shouldn't do, but you feel like you should do it because they're saying you should. Yeah. These are all things that you guys are facing. And guess what? Is anybody scared of the dark? Shh. And here's a big one that I hear from a lot of you guys. But let's be honest. Shh. Is there anybody here that is scared of death? Yeah, that's a big thing. We're going to talk about that. But we're putting all these on here because guess what? Fear is just the devil's way of being a bully. If the devil can get you to be scared about things, he gets you to stay focused off of God. And we could fill these things till we're blue in the face. But Goliath shows up and he's representing fear. He's representing a bully today. Now this is where it gets crazy because if we face this bully, a lot of us get scared. And if this was a video game, guess what? You would want to unplug the game and walk away from it right now because it's about to get real. And in a video game, that's easy. But guess what? In real life, we can't unplug the game. We got to keep going forward. And you're going to run into things like this. You're going to be scared about things like this. The devil is going to try to bully you. And everyone might want to give up. But 
in this story, there ends up being a boy that is ready to game on. He's accepted the token. He has pressed start. And now he's ready to play the game. And it was a young boy named David. And for some of you right here, he wasn't much older than some of you. He was a shepherd boy, a simple young man that had a very simple job. He watched sheep. I don't know about you. I've never been a shepherd. It might be harder than you think, but I think about sheep because one sheep have one of the smallest brains of any animal. So they're not too smart. No offense to anybody like sheep, but what do they do? They walk around, eat grass and drink water, right? Can't be that hard. So David, <laughs> David has a very simple job, but he hears about somebody talking bad about Jesus. Anybody heard somebody talk bad about Jesus at school? Anybody get mad when that happens? You're like, don't make fun of Jesus. I love Jesus. And that's essentially what David does. And he goes before, he goes before Goliath. Shh. He goes before Goliath. And you could pull up that next verse. In, in uh, verse 32, it says this. Let no one lose heart. On account of the Philistine, your servant will go and fight him. So David says, I'm going to go fight. Saul. I'm going to go fight Goliath. And guess what? His brothers laugh at him. They say, you're not going to fight him. You're just a little boy. Anybody ever feel like they wanted to stand up and do the right thing, but people laughed at you? They said, you can't do that. You're too young. You're too little. You're not smart enough. You're not fast enough. People will say all sorts of things about you to try to discourage you. So then David goes to the king. At the time is King Saul. And guess what King Saul says? You can't do it either. You need extra equipment. And David says, I don't need any of that. But once again, somebody try to talk bad about Saul and I can see some of your faces right now some of you guys understand exactly what I'm talking about because you have had voices maybe even your parents which is unfortunate but they have said things to you that are not true so they say just stop trying you're not smart enough stop going out for that sports team you're never going to be fast enough you're never going to be good enough you're never going to be strong enough people have been saying horrible things about your life all the time but Jesus, he believes in you. He knows you can do it. He created you to be smart enough. He created you to be good enough. And David knew that. So David gets ready to fight Goliath. Because David knew this point right here. You go to the next slide. David did not view Goliath, the bully, as a problem, but he viewed him as an opportunity. A lot of you go to school and you face bullies. A lot of you know what some of these fears are like, and you look at them as problems. You say, oh my goodness, I'm scared of the dark. This is a problem. But we can look at it as opportunity and say, you know what? I might be a little bit scared of the dark. But guess who's stronger than the dark? Jesus. He's with me. Nothing in the dark is going to hurt me because I got Jesus with me. You know what? I am a little bit scared of spiders. They make me a little nervous. Listen, there's grown ladies in the back. They're still scared of spiders too. But guess what? Who's bigger than a spider? My shoe and Jesus. Okay? Jesus is stronger. Shh, we're almost done. Jesus is stronger and, and better than any of these fears or any of these bullies. And then on this last slide, David approaches Goliath. And he was a shepherd boy. And as a shepherd, he would keep animals away from the sheep. And all he had was a little sling and some rocks. Simple things. And he goes before Goliath and says, my God's bigger than you. What you guys need to do is think of that fear or think of that bully that you have right now. And you need to think, my God's bigger than that. And he takes that sling and he threw it. And he hit Goliath in the forehead, knocked him out, and it was game over. 
We're getting in game on. For Goliath, it was game over. So I want us to do something very quietly. I want you guys to hold out your hands like you got a sling in it. I want you to place a rock in it. We're going to practice this one time, okay? I want you to look at that bully over there. I want you to look at Goliath over there. And I don't want you to see Goliath. I want you to imagine that your fear is sticking here. Whatever that fear is. Real quick. Real quick. What is that fear that you're thinking of? Bullies. You're thinking of bullies. Real quick. What is that fear you're thinking of, Aiden? Satan. Okay. I want you to think of that fear while you're looking at that bully right there. And I want you to do this. Just go one, two, three. And I want you to say, say this with me. Say, none of my problems are as big as my God. And I come against them in the name of the Lord. So we're going to do that together, okay? So do you guys understand what we're doing? I want you to imagine that fear that you feel like you can't conquer. Because the truth is you can't do it on your own. The only person that's going to be able to help you conquer this fear, conquer this bully, is God. So we're going to say this together one more time. And it's on the screen. All right? And we're going to do it for real this time. Because we're going to say this together. We're going to say one, two, three. And we're going to sling it, okay? So say this with me. Look at Goliath. Look at that fear. Say, none of my problems are as big as my God. And I come against them in the name of the Lord. Say one, two, three. You see that? Now that's an illustration, but guess what? That's all you have to say is when you're scared in the middle of the night. (laughs) You all right? When you're scared in the middle of the night. You say that. You say, none of my problems are as big as my God. None of my fears are as big as my God. None of my bullies are as big as my God. And I come against them in the name of Jesus. Because guess what, guys? There's a lot of cool names out there. I personally like the name Joshua. Awesome name. Gabby is an awesome name. Cat is an awesome name. But guess what? There is only sh- there is only one name that is above any other name in this world. And that name is Jesus Christ. I could go to the devil and say, ooh, Josh is coming for you. Hey, he might be a little worried because I love the Lord. I could say, oh, Jaden's coming for you. Devil might be a little worried. But if I say Jesus Christ is coming for you, the devil runs away scared. So you guys have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to fear. There's no bully that can harm you because you have Jesus Christ. So my leaders are going to get ready to pray. If everybody could close their eyes and bow their heads. If I could have some of my leaders get ready and place to pray. With nobody looking around. Nobody talking. Let this be a private moment. Just as you saw Goliath and your fear collapse because we knocked them out just like David, you can knock out your fears and you can knock out your worries with prayer before the throne room of Jesus Christ. So if anybody is in here tonight with nobody looking around, if you could be honest and you say, Pastor Josh, I need prayer for some fears. I need prayer for some worry. I need some prayer because I'm scared to bring home a bad grade. I need some prayer because I I, I feel like I don't fit in at school and that worries me. I need prayer because there's a bully in my class that I run away from. I'm worried about my parents. If there's any fear or any doubt or any bully that you're worried about with nobody looking around and you say, you know what, Pastor Josh, I need prayer for some of my worries. I need prayer for some of my fears with nobody looking around. If that's you, lift up your hand. Jaden is going to lead us in worship. If you raised your hand, David did not let this moment pass him. 
He knew he had to fight Goliath right then and there. Do not let this moment to pray over your fears. Do not allow this moment for God to help you conquer your worry. Skip away. So on the count of three, if you raise your hand very quietly, I want you to come to these people. They're going to pray with you. We're going to rejoice at the end of this because your fears are going to be gone. God is going to help you. God is going to lead you. He is going to give you the strength to overcome these. Days. So one. If you raise your hand for a fear, come, come now. Get ready to pray. God's going to do something awesome in your life too. If you didn't raise your hand, please be respectful of the people around you. Don't talk. These people are waiting. And three, if you raise your hand and you need prayer for a, get over a fear, get over a doubt, get over a bully, now is your chance. Let's pray together. If you didn't raise your hand, please quietly go back to your seat. Be respectful. But we're going to pray right now. Pray for your friends. Shh. Pray for your friends. Dear Jesus, I pray. I pray for these fears. I pray for these worries. I pray for these doubts. Lord, it is your name. You are the name above all names. And we cast out these doubts. We cast out these worries. They have no place in the heart of your children. You're going to do awesome things in these lives. These fears are not going to hold us back. Goliath tried to hold the Israelites back. But somebody stepped up. And they said, you have no place here. Lord, I pray that this room is full of Davids that are willing to stand up and face their fears. They're willing to stand up and face their worries. Lord Jesus, be with us tonight. Help us conquer these fears in your name. Let's sing this set of fire. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you. Guys, 